Crypto Kids, welcome back to another video. And yes, guys, we hit 30,000 subscribers on the channel today. And guys, I'm just so, so grateful to each and every one of you. I've never imagined in my life when I first started this YouTube channel where that we've, we would have had like 30,000 people subscribed and, and watching the daily content. It just means the world to me. And I can't thank you enough, honestly. Like I've, I've thought exactly what to say and how to say it, but it's just... The emotions are, are, are too crazy that I, I would be sitting here thanking you for hours and your support, your likes, your comments, just you watching the video means so much to me. Uh, you, you won't even believe it, but guys, thank you. Thank you so, so much. It's an incredibly important day for me and both the Bitcoin markets as today, as you guys watched the video yesterday, you know that today was the final deadline uh, for the Bitcoin spot ETF issuers to create their amendments to their filings uh, so that they can be approved in the first batch of January. And looking at what we have here, and by the way, that was an incredible segue. I just need to know that. <laughs> we can see that Van Eck filed for their sixth amendment to their spot ETF. And following their um, ETF amendment, they also launched their first ever marketing campaign, Born to Bitcoin. And that's, I think, you know, people may say it's cringy, but I think it's very, very nice indeed. And on top of that, we have the ARK Invest and 21 shares also uh, creating an amendment to change uh, their model from an in-kind redemption to a cash creates only. We talked about this in the previous video, so I'm not going to get into too much detail with that. And BlackRock just dropped their update on their S1 and they have allocated their APs and not their Audemars SPGs. no. They've allocated their authorized participants, meaning that they were able to find market makers and liquidity makers to um, actually facilitate the creation process of the ETFs itself. And that's like the final step before an application to find AP agreements. And this is huge, it just came out 20 minutes ago. And uh, now that they've found their market makers, basically, in the chain of events of how a ETF is actually approved and brought to market, that is that is the fifth one, right? So this is the fifth point here. Then you have the actual creation of the shares and that's it. You start trading on the secondary market and then you have the market makers going in, etc. But it's, it's here, it's here in under... I'd say now in literally a week, we're going to see the spot ETF applications get accepted and they're going to be trading on the market. And it's just, it feels surreal. Why? Because we've been talking about this for the past six months now. And Bitcoin is seeing a small drop towards the downside, by the way, we'll get to that. But for the past six months, six to seven months, this is the only news that we've been talking about for Bitcoin. Like since here, this was once, this was when we had the Bitcoin spot ETF news. Um, this was the first time if we go into this chart, I think it was, yeah, we had it here. And just for all of this period, it's been the exact same thing. And now we're seeing the launch. And uh, I, I do believe that after the launch, we may see the top for Bitcoin, just like we saw it in the CME chart, but that's fine because it's going to give us the opportunity to buy Bitcoin cheaper. And um, we are expecting this reversal because the stochastic had a bearish crossover and it's pretty much confirming it now. The CMF, which indicates the total money flowing into Bitcoin is also flipping bearish, just like we did in the previous bull market top. And um, all of these indicators could take Bitcoin to $36,000, which is why I have buy orders in place at 36K and at the $40,000 $40, area alongside the $41,000 area, because this would be the neckline support of this double top pattern that we're forming alongside this ascending triangle. And of course, this line of support is from the ascending broadening wedge. And if I quickly show you uh, the trades that I have in place, so I'm buying Bitcoin at 39.9K, 41.2K and 36.2K. These are the three main dollar cost averaging points and 31 and 34 are just in case if we see a wick down um, after, the, after the launch of the ETFs or something, that's just in case. But these three points, I'm personally super bullish and uh, hopefully if it gets triggered, it will be a nice way to dollar cost average in before the halving. And uh, after a year from the halving, we are expecting the top of the bull market between 90 to $95,000. And guys, if you also want to trade Bitcoin, you can head over to the description below and sign up to Bitflex to get up to $68,888 worth in prices. But that's pretty much it for my Bitcoin TA. If we go over into the chart once again, it's possible that we retrace to the $40,500 to $40,800 range as well and find some support. That's why, just in case, I'll add another limit long position. So what we got to do is we got to go to limit 
type in 40,570 and boom. Now we have a very nice three orders um, and I think it will give us a very nice dollar cost long position. But if there's any updates with it at any point, if I uh, decide to close it, depending on how the market reacts at a take profit, at a stop loss, then I will be updating you guys in my Telegram community as always. Uh, so let's press confirm and boom, that's gonna add another order for Bitcoin. But that's it for my Bitcoin technical analysis update. Something just to mention very quickly, guys, the ETF providers, they've already bought up all the Bitcoin that they need to. So you've seen this, I showed you this in the start of the video. What happens is that the place where they actually end up collecting Bitcoin and the underlying asset is during the creation of basket stage, stage which we're way uh, already, we're, we're, we're pretty much beyond it. And uh, they've been accumulating Bitcoin for the past couple of months. Uh, the only time that they will actually add more to their Bitcoin holdings will be when uh, there is more demand for the actual ETF itself. So if we experience significant demand for the Bitcoin ETFs, then guys, there's going to be a much, much more heightened accumulation of Bitcoin from spot and that will cause a massive supply shortage alongside the uh, halving that's coming up. And this number here is going to be going to be edited for sure. But something to note, very, very last thing is that the funding rates are still incredibly high. I have a lot of friends that have like million dollar positions on Bitcoin, long positions, but it's getting too, too expensive to hold. So they're, they're, at some point, they're going to be forced to close them because their, their profits are diminishing. And on top of this, we had the $11 billion options expiry. So do expect some tremendous volatility on Bitcoin in these upcoming hours and days. Uh, we could reverse down uh, to the targets that we mentioned. And uh, yeah, it's not looking too amazing for Bitcoin at the moment. It will be a very, very volatile market. And this is just something very interesting that I came across. And it's why uh, the, the widely anticipated recession didn't happen. And I talked about this in the previous video a little bit. Uh, usually what happens is the stock market goes down in a recession, but no, that's not, that's not been what's happening. And the reason for this is because in COVID, uh, you know, the United States had $5 trillion of stimulus money and that went into the economy overall. And uh, these things have an impact on the economy after 12 to 18 months. So that's the effects that we're seeing now in the S&P 500. This $5 trillion worth of stimulus money is now put in the S&P 500, but it's the time is running because the Fed is going to pivot. And whenever the Fed pivots, we usually see a decline in the stock market. I thought it would be very interesting to bring up. And we can see the current market psychology of Bitcoin very similar to that in 2015, where we had the disbelief stage uh, during this accumulation zone. Now we have hope. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a retracement most likely and we will have the optimism stage and create the new all time high. I think this is pretty accurate. But guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash up the like button and guys, I'll see you all in the next update very soon. Take care guys. Good night and bye-bye.